live. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Arlene of Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, where we are revolutionizing the world through the power of prayer and the spoken word. I'm so very glad to be here this morning. As you come on, people, please fill your mouth with praise and thanksgiving as we prepare our hearts to receive of the Lord this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we're glad in it. Are you glad about what God is doing? Even in the midst of crisis, God is still worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our thank you. So as you come on in, I need you to fill your mouth. Fill your mouth with praise. That's it. Fill your mouth with thanksgiving. God bless you, Pastor William Williams. God bless you, Pastor Elliot. I'm so glad to have you here. Early rises, ready to have some time in God's presence. Welcome, welcome. We're so very glad to have you here as we prepare our hearts to receive. We are in the midst of a praise party. I'm telling you, God has been doing some wonderful things even in the midst of crisis. And it is for us to keep our mouth open and praise. The Bible says that we ought to bless the Lord when? At all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So as you come on, I need you to open up your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Can you do that? Can you do that with me? Can you just share how much you love him? Can you open up your mouth and just tell him thank you? Hallelujah. Can you magnify his name? Can you lift him up with me? For he alone is worthy of praise. Hallelujah. Right here, Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, we pray for you and we empower you to pray because the Bible tells us to be devoted to prayer. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. I'm, I'm not going to stop saying it. The Bible tells us that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. He said, I will forgive sin and I will heal the land. And every day my declaration is, thank you, Father, for healing our land. Can I get anybody out there that's ready to open up their mouth and say, God, I thank you for healing our land. Hallelujah. I thank you for healing our land. As you come on, please invite others to come in and enjoy this time of prayer praise and power with our special guest, Bishop, Archbishop Ronald Hopkins. So we want to, we want to prepare our hearts. Amen. If you don't have your Bibles out, get your Bible, get your pad, get your pen, get ready to write some notes. I'm quite sure he's going to share some good nuggets with us that you want to write down. So come on in everybody, come on in and share and keep your mouth open with praise. Before we bring the Bishop in, I just want you to know there's three ways you can keep in contact with us. Because again, if you need prayer, I want you to email us at prayers at pegm.org. This is a very trying time for all of us. And I want you to know you have a place where you can go to have your prayers answered because we come in faith with you. We not only pray for you, we come in faith with you believing and we pray the word of God. And we believe that when we pray the word of God, we get answers. So if you need prayer, if you need prayer, I need you to send your prayer request into prayers at pegm.org. We always want you to know that you have a place to come. I know everybody everywhere needs prayer. Amen. Everybody everywhere needs prayer. And I need you to know that we're here to pray for you. We want to extend condolences to all of you that have lost loved ones in the midst of this pandemic. We are praying for you on a daily basis. We love you. And we thank God for the comforting angels of God ministering to you right now where you are. So we're sending our prayers to you. We're spending, we're sending strength to you. We're sending air hugs. We're sending kisses. We're saying that you're going to get through this. We know that it's a difficult time, but you're going to get through this. It's when we go through rough times that we really see God for who he is. We really experience him as comforter. If I never was sick, if I never had cancer, I would never know that he was a healer. Come on now. If I never was out financial, financial support, I would never know that God was a provider for me. So this time we're going to know God as friend. We're going to know God as comforter. We're going to know God as healer. Come on. We're going to know him as provider. We're going to know him as our peace. We're going to know him for so many things because of this trying time. So again, if you need prayer, reach out to us at prayers at pegm.org. Amen. 
Amen. I'm going to bring, I'm going to, I'm excited to have Archbishop Ronald Hopkins um, to be our special guest today. This is the church that I've come from, and we were both ordained together at the same time. We did our first, um, we not ordained, we did our first initial sermons together. We were both so nervous that day. I can't, I, I'm not going to forget that. We had so much fun laughing at each other because we were so nervous, but we thank God for his elevation. We thank God for his humble heart that he remains to have. No matter how many times he's been elevated, he remains humble and we thank God for that. So I just want to read a little bit about him. For those of you who have never met Archbishop Ronald Hopkins, I'm not going to read his bio. It is extensive. Um, God has blessed him to do many things for the kingdom of God. But what I just want to do is just introduce you for those of you that don't know him. Please come on and swipe and invite all you pilgrimites, invite some other people to come on in, come on in, come on in. Archbishop Ronald Hopkins is the senior pastor of the Pilgrim Cathedral of Harlem and sits on the board of bishops of the Pilgrim Assemblies International as the second assistant to the presiding bishop. He was born and raised in the Bronx, New York, and Ronald Hopkins accepted Christ as his personal savior at the age of nine. And he learned the meaning of serving in ministry under the leadership of the late Bishop Rosa A. Hahn. Let me just share with you also that as a founding member of the Pilgrim Cathedral of Harlem, Ronald Hopkins established a very record of service by serving as the choir member. I remember this. He was a drummer. He was a trustee. <laughs> an adjutant to the late bishop, my brother, Bishop Charles J. J. Reed, and was appointed to the office of deacon in 1999, working many years, many years in a secular form. He was also a postal worker, but now we thank God. After the passing of Bishop Reed, Ronald Hopkins was ordained and installed as the senior pastor of Pilgrim Cathedral of Harlem in two, 2007, consecrated to the office of bishop in 2010, and then elevated to the office of archbishop in 2018. We are excited to have this great man of God to take out time and a schedule to be with us. So like I said, you're in for a treat. I'm getting ready to bring him. You ready? You ready? I'm getting ready <laughs> right now. Amen. We're so excited to have him here this morning. There he goes. <laughs> good morning, Bishop. Good morning. Good morning. We're so glad to have you. We're so glad to have you. Good morning. So I'm going to release you in the hands of God. We are ready to hear what you have to share with us this morning. Welcome, Bishop. Welcome. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace be unto you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to thank God for this privilege. Thank Pastor Arlene for this privilege to be a part of this prayer and empowerment. Amen. Ministry, I thank God for the great work that you are doing, encouraging the people of God to pray, to praise God. Amen. In the times that we're living in, in now, this is the time to pray. Amen. Not because Man. of the pandemic, but the Bible said, men are to always pray and not to faint. Man. So we need to learn the importance of prayer, the importance of giving God praise in the midst of the storm. Amen. Prayer will bring you out, but praise will empower you. Amen. To go through the storms of life. So I want to encourage the people of God today. As we continue to pray, let's, let's not forget to give God praise. Amen. The Bible says, in everything, give God thanks, because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. Praise is our weapon. Amen. Praise is the thing that we use. Amen. To get through the difficult times of life. I was thinking about a story I'm going to read uh, from this chapter in Second Chronicles, one of my favorite stories concerning how God delivered the people of uh, the people of God through praise, amen, but it's found in Second Chronicles chapter 20, and I'm just going to kind of go through some verses to encourage you, uh, and you know the story for those who've been in church uh, a period of time, you probably heard of this story concerning Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah, amen, we know Judah means may the Lord be praised, amen, amen, so we thank God for understanding that God has a way out of any situation, and it's through the power of prayer and praise, but the Bible says that King Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah uh, found themselves in trouble. Understand this, being saved does not prevent uh, problems from happening in your life. The Bible said that King Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah found themselves surrounded by three different armies. Three different armies came up against them to evict them from their promise. Understand this, that the enemy doesn't fight fear. 
He comes at us from the left, from the right, from the top, from the bottom. He surrounds us to evict us from our promise, to evict us from our blessings. And the Bible said that Jehoshaphat feared, and it's all right to, get a, to be afraid. It's all right to be fearful at times, but don't let your fears move you in the wrong direction. He feared, but he saw that he could not uh, come against this great army. There was one nation uh, surrounded by three different nations, and the Bible said he feared, but he did not let his fear move him in the wrong direction. The Bible said, he called for a fast. He called for the entire nation to fast, to seek the face of God. Don't let your fears move you in the wrong direction. You know, some people are moved by fear and they run to drugs. They run to alcohol to try to escape the cares of life. But because the people of God needed extraordinary help, they did something extraordinary. They began to pray. They began to fast and they began to seek the name of the Lord their God. The Bible says in verse 12, for he said, we have no might against this great army that came up against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are on thee. Understand this. You might not know what to do, but guess what? Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on the Lord. The Bible tells us in Psalms 121 verse 1, I will lift up mine eyes until the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heaven and the earth. Understand this, you can look to the Lord in the times of trouble. You can look to the Lord in the times of despair. When you're fearing things are going on around you, look to the Lord, amen. Your help is coming. Your help is coming from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Understand this, there was a promise given to the children of Israel. You know, one of the promises that God gave the children of Israel is that when they cry out to him, he will answer. Verse nine says, for when evil comes upon us as with the sword of judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in the house. And if we cry unto thee in our afflictions, then you will hear and help. Man, there was you. a promise given to the people of God. When they cry out unto God, the promise was that he's going to hear and help. I'm here to let you know that God has heard the cries of his people. Now get ready for his help. Get ready for his help. You can't cry out to God. You can't pray to God and he not respond. God responds to the cries. He responds to the prayers. One of the promises that when you cry out to God in the times of your affliction, in the times of famine, in the times of pestilence, he's going to hear and help. Yes. Hear and help. Somebody yes, needs to Lord. that. He hears me and now yes, he's going to help me. Yes, God, today. He hears me and now he's going to help me. Yes, Lord. God responds to the prayers and the cries of his people. The Bible Lord Jesus. Said that he responded by speaking through one of the Levites. Amen. The Bible said in verse 14, verse 15, that the Lord, the spirit of the Lord came upon a, a man by the name of Jehaziel. And Jehaziel was a Levite. And Jehaziel says, hearken ye all Judah and all inhabitants of Jerusalem. And thou King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed by yeah. reason of the great multitude, for the battle is not yours. Hallelujah. But it's God's. Understand Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We are afraid. We have no, no reason to be in despair. We're in a battle that the Lord is fighting for us. Understand this that God is fighting for you. Verse 17 says, You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. O you Jerusalem and, and inhabitants of Judah, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Yeah. Don't worry about what comes up, what comes up tomorrow. Understand as God is already in your tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be afraid of the news. Don't be afraid of what's coming down the road. Understand as God has gone before you, and he's already fought the battle for you. Don't let what you see and hear on the news move you to fear. It's a yes. fact that people are dying. It's a, it's a fact that people are getting sick. But the truth is, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit right. of power and yes. love and a sound mind. The Bible said yes. that uh, the, the man of God said, don't be afraid, don't be dismayed by reason of this great multitude is bigger than you, is greater than you, you have no power. In and, of, in and of yourself to handle the situation. But guess what? God is bigger than your situation. 
Thank he's you, Jesus. Those things that are surrounding us. As a matter of fact, he's surrounding your enemy. He's surrounding those things that you Jesus. can't find yourself out of. He has the power to surround your enemy. Tell your enemy, come up with your hands up because <laughs> God has you surrounded. Amen. God yes. is surrounding your enemy. Thank About you, Jesus. In verse 20, that they rose up early in the morning. We got up six o'clock this morning. But guess what? I got up with yes. a prayer. Yes. A lot of people yes. are sleeping. Guess what? God is up. And I got up with a praise. They got up early in the morning, verse 20 of 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And it says, and they went forth into the wilderness of, the, of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. Believe in prophets. So shall you prosper. Yes, and when he had consulted with the people, the Bible said he appointed singers. Oh my God. <laughs> he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness. And as the they went before the army, they said, Praise the Lord for his mercy endureth. Yes, God today. Verse 22 says, And when they began to sing and to praise, somebody say, Sing and praise. Sing and praise. Sing and praise. After you prayed, after you fast, the Bible said they began to praise God. They began to sing and praise. And when they began to sing and praise, the Bible said that the Lord set, set in bushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which was come up against Judah, and they were smitten. Verse 23 says, for the children of Ammon and Moab stood against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy one another. And when Judah was come towards the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitudes, and behold, there were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. Verse 25 says, And when Jehoshaphat and his people came away to take the spoils of them, they found among them in abundance the, both riches and dead bodies and precious jewels, and they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away. And they were there three days. Somebody say three days in gathering of the spores because nice. it was much. The Bible said they didn't waste time. After, getting, after receiving the word of encouragement, after letting uh, God, letting the people know that he's going before them, the Bible said they got up early in the morning. They didn't waste no time. And the Bible said that uh, Jehoshaphat told the people of God, uh, believe in the Lord your God and, and, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets yes. and you shall prosper. How are you going to respond after you hear the word of the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, they Bishop. Prayed. Come on. They fasted. God heard and God was sending help. Now, how are you going to respond? Jesus. You Come on. The word of the Lord. Believing what God said will establish you and prosper you. Yes, God. God. After I speak, after I send my help, believe what I say. Yes. Stand on what I say. When, when you stand on what I say, it's going to establish you and it's going to prosper you. The Bible said that yes. your husband gathered the singers. He gathered the anointed singers. A lot of people have yes, this, but God. I don't. He appointed singers and these singers led the army in praise. Thank you, Jesus. They didn't go with no weapons. They Jesus. didn't go with no swords and no spears and no javelins. Their only weapon was praise. I'm here to let you know that praise Jesus. is a weapon against the enemy. Yes, it is. Appointed singers to lead the army, and they led the army in praise. That word praise is halal. It means to shine. It means to show. It means to make a boast. Yes. It means to act clamorously foolish. It means yes. to celebrate. Yes. All that's going on around us, don't let what's happening in your life stop you from celebrating. That's right, Bishop. You have a reason and the right to celebrate. The Bible says the thing is led the people in celebrating God. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't let your problems get you down, but celebrate in the midst of what you're facing. Celebrate. Hello, the yes. Lord. Get happy. Yes. Get lastly foolish. Crazy. Yes. Celebrate who God is. Yes. Not only that, but the Bible said 
They yada the Lord. That means to extend your hands. It means to, <laughs> to lift your hands. Lift your hands. And a of surrender to let the Lord know I have no power. I have no might against this, 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 this enemy. I have no power against what's surrounding me. But I'm lifting up my hands in a, in yes, a, in a sign of surrender, a sign of praise. You know, praise is an action word. Yes, it is. You Come on, Bishop. God and your mouth is closed. You Come can't on say, now. You not do nothing. Praise is an action word. The Bible said they began to sing. They began to celebrate. They began to lift up their hands. They had no weapons. The only weapon they had was the weapon of praise. I'm here to let you know that praise is yes. a weapon of the enemy. Yes. Don't wait until the battle is over. Shout now. Don't wait until yes, after you come up. Yes, yes, yes. Praise God in the midst of your situation. Praise is not only seen, but guess what? Praise is heard. Yes. Something. They celebrated. They lifted up their hands, but they said something. The Bible said they began to sing and to praise. They opened up their mouth. They lifted yes, up Lord. their hands. word of praise is to heal it. It's a spontaneous hymn of praise. They said something. They, they said, uh, praise the Lord. For his mercy endure forever. Yes. Lord. Yes. His forever. Think, Bishop. Lord. His mercy is too early in the morning. His mercy endure <laughs> forever. Praise the Lord. His mercy endure forever. So they said something and they did something. Find a song and make a song, a, sp a spontaneous hymn of praise. Begin yes. to sing how great God is and how merciful that the Lord has been and make a song out of it. The Bible said they began to sing and to praise. And when they be, began to sing and praise, the Bible said that the Lord sent embushments against the enemy. The Lord works in the midst of praise. Yes. The Lord fights in the midst of your praise. Yes. The Bible said that the Lord inhabits the praise. He lives. He dwells. He's comfortable in the praise yes. of people build a place of praise for God and watch God display his power in the midst of your situation. They celebrated. They lifted their hands and they began to sing and praise and God responded to their praise. The Bible said he sent ambushments against the enemy. Isaiah 59 and 19 says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Yes, Build Lord. God for praise and watch God release his power in the midst of your situation. Yes, your Lord. praise is a weapon of mass destruction. I'm going to say that again. Your yes. praise is a weapon of mass destruction. Second Corinthians 10 and 4 says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Use your weapon of praise and watch yes. God tear, tear down those things that you have no power to tear down. Watch God fight on your behalf. I'm going in with a praise, but I'm yes. coming out with victory. Come on, Bishop. Say that today. Whatever you face today, whatever you face tomorrow, I'm going in with a praise, yes. but I'm coming out with victory. Yes. That's the word for somebody. I'm going one second. in. I got, I got to run, Bishop. I got, I got to run. I got to run. I got to run on that one. I got to run. run with you. And I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out with victory. They Jesus. went to the battle praising God. Hallelujah. But they came out with victory. Hallelujah. The Bible Jesus. says they got to the watchtower. They saw nothing but dead bodies. They praised their way out of their situation. Jesus. They began to praise God. The Bible said that the enemy turned on each other until Jesus. they were utterly destroyed. There Jesus. was no one left. The three nations that came up against the one nation of praise was destroyed. You can't come against the praises of God and God not respond and wipe out your enemy. It's something when you come against a praiser. Yes, that's it. When you it. fight against a praiser, you're fighting against God. Yes. God inhabits, he lives, he dwells in the praises of the praisers. He lives, he's comfortable in the praises of the praisers. 
Are you a praiser today? Are you a worshiper? Don't let praise and worship be an event. Let it be a lifestyle. Yes, Bishop. Don't wait until you're faced with a problem to pray and praise, but pray and praise. Let it be a lifestyle, not an not a event. The Bible said when they got to the watchtower, they saw nothing but dead bodies. Their praise caused the enemy to turn on each other and they destroyed each other. Yes. Praise pays off. <laughs> praise pays off. I love it. I love it. I said when they came to take away the spoils, they found abundance of riches and precious Jews, which they stripped off for themselves. It was more than they can carry. So it took them three days. Somebody say three days. Three days. To gather the spoils. Jesus. God has a way of paying you back for the trouble that you went through. Jesus. There's a payday coming for the praiser. Jesus. <laughs> There's a payday coming for the worshiper. There's a payday coming for those that would trust and believe God in the midst of what's surrounding them. Praise pays off. The Bible said in, in Proverbs 13 and 22 that the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The Bible said when they got to the watchtower, when they got to the valley, all they saw was dead bodies and precious Jews and, 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 and riches. And the Bible said they stripped them off for themselves. It was so much that it took Jesus. three days to gather. God has a way of rewarding you for the problems that you go through. Jesus. But as you go to your problem, go with a praise and watch God bring you out victoriously. Jesus. If we can learn how to praise and worship God in the midst of what we're going through, he'll turn your situation around. Yes, he will. Yes, they were afraid, but they didn't let their fear move them to do the wrong thing. They fasted. They prayed. God spoke. He said, I'm going to hear and help. He said, don't worry about the battle. I'm fighting this battle for you. Yes. Stand still and see the salvation of the Jesus. Lord. And begin to give praise. Yes, God. Yes, praise. yes, yes. Open up your mouth. Lift your hands. Yes. Your hands were empty. They had no weapons. All they had was praise. And the praise went before them. Yes. And destroyed their enemies. Jesus. Don't let praise be an event. Let it be a lifestyle. Yes, Lord, today. Prayer and praise go together. Yes. Prayer and praise. Yes. Thank praise you, Lord. Prayer. <laughs> you put them together. Yeah. You got a weapon. Yes, today. The battle belongs to God. Yes, Lord. But the victory is ours. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, you Lord. The battle belongs to God. But the victory is ours. Come on, Bishop. Get ready for the victory. I'm going in with praise, but I'm coming out victorious. Hallelujah. Verse 20 says, now unto him. Yes. Who is able. Yes. To exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think. Yes, Lord. According to the power that works in us. The enemy wanted to wipe out the praises. He wanted to wipe out the, the inhabitants of Judah. But guess what? God had another plan. Yes. I'm here to let you know that. It makes no difference what's going to happen later on today, what's going to happen later on this week, later on this month, later on this year. God has already gone into our future and prepared the path of victory for the praises. Yes. <sighs> prepared the path for victory. Come on. He's prepared the path <laughs> of victory for the praises. Hallelujah. Woo! So Jesus. Faith and not by sight. Get ready for God to fight your battles. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm done. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Come on, y'all. Let's put a praise on that. Let's put a praise on that. Can you just open up your mouth wherever you are and just begin to praise God and put your praise in the comments. Go ahead. Put your praise in the comments. Hallelujah. We understand that prayer and praise go together. So in this six o'clock hour, this early morning hour, we want to lift up praise to God. Hallelujah. I told me earlier. Last week, he said, all of you done prayed enough. Now it's time for you to praise. And now Bishop, come on on here. And he done come on here and confirm everything I said. Mm -hmm. Last night, I had another prayer call. And we went through the seven forms of praise, Bishop. You, wow. had no, you were all up in my business. We did a halal. We did a tahila. We did a shabbat. Oh, my goodness. 
everything that we did last night, you talked about it this morning, and we give God glory for confirming what God is doing right now. Do you hear what God is saying through the man of God? It's time for you to open up your mouth and praise God. Stop worrying about what the media is saying. Stop worrying about all of this chaos is going on. God yeah. wants you to open up your mouth. That's it. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. He wants us to praise God. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. We worship yeah. you. Come yeah. on. Come on. Come on. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Let us pause and praise right now. Pause right now. Get yourself ready for the rest of the day. You are preparing the rest of the day with your praise. Hallelujah. We're going to go in with a praise. Didn't he say it? Go in with a praise so we can come out with victory. Hallelujah. Go into the doctor's appointment so you can come out. Go in with praise so you can come out with victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Let's put a praise on this word. Let's seal this time of the word of God. Let's seal it with a praise saying, God, we thank you. God, we praise you. We magnify you. God, we say thank you for making us a people of praising you. Not complaining, but praising. Hallelujah. And so we can have those three days of the spoil. Pick it up all of the spoil. God, hallelujah. The three days, Bishop. The three days. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said that praise, praise pays off hallelujah it pays off because those three days they were able to pick up the spoils so we cannot stop praising god in the midst of the tears coming down your face i need you to still keep on praising god the bad news you just received i need you to still praise god i just lost my dad i just lost my sister just lost my cousin i need you to still give god praise he said i will bless the lord at all times what happens and his praise shall win continually be in my mouth so i'm gonna keep my mouth open and i'm gonna praise god hallelujah yeah, one yes, more time. Yes. Yes. Put those hands together and bless Jesus. Thank bless you. him. Hallelujah. As he said, wave your hands. Put your hands together. You can wave them. You can clap them. But give God the praise because he you. is worthy yes. of the glory. He's worthy of the honor and he's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know we don't do this all the time, but I want you to just put in the comments, what are you taking away from this morning? Bishop said a whole lot of goodies. He gave us a whole lot of goodies. But what are you taking away? Thank you, Jesus. Thank what you. are you taking away this morning? What is the word for you today? Because so many times he said so many things, but right where you are, what is speaking to your situation right now? Hallelujah. I'm going to keep my eyes on Jesus. That's what I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes on Jesus. He gave us a whole lot of nuggets, but what? Hallelujah. What is it that God said to you this morning? Because God was speaking. His mouth was so wide open, giving us direction, giving us peace. Hallelujah. Giving us calm in this midst of the chaos and the confusion and the hurt and the crying. Praise pays off. Come on. Praise pays. Hallelujah. That's yeah. it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. First lady is saying that praise praise hallelujah it pays hallelujah first lady harrison said that praise pays that's what she's taking away we thank god hallelujah we thank god for this we thank god for it we thank you tisa says the battle is not the lord's the battle is the lord's but the victory is mine hallelujah thank you jesus we rejoice over it we rejoice over this word hallelujah don't fear he got me go forth hallelujah thank you jesus praise him and i praise Pays off. That's we go. We got that. We got that. We got that. Hallelujah. Praise him at all times. That's it, McKinley. Thank you. That's my brother-in-law right there, y'all. That's my brother-in-law right there. That's McKinley. Yes, 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 yes. Praise, pays. Hallelujah. I'm glad you got it. They're getting it. The this is it. This is good. You got to understand. This battle belongs to God, but the victory is ours. Amen. And as you are typing this in, I need you to take this into your day. There's a payday for the praiser. Come on. Come on, brother Leon. There's a pay payday for the praiser. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Elliot, the battle is not mine. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And our evangelist, Tracy Gilmore Problems. Divided by praise, equal victory and payoff. Come on. I love it. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Amen. Amen. I 
Thank God for all of you for joining us today here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. Did you not enjoy yourself today? If you enjoyed yourself today and if you enjoyed the bishop and he spoke to your hearts today, I want you all to prepare your hearts to be a blessing to the bishop. He didn't ask for anything. He just said, come on, I'll be a blessing. But I want you to bless the, the man of God. Amen. We want to bless the man of God. This is our church right here. This is our church. This is our church. I know a lot of people are on Facebook now, but we've been having church online for a while now. But this is our church. And we want to be a blessing to the bishop. He didn't ask me for anything. He didn't say, well, I'll come if you pay me. He didn't say that. But I just want us to learn to be a blessing, to be a generous congregation. Amen. A generous church. And I want us to be a blessing to the man of God. You said that you got a word for today. Right. You said the praise pays. You said Amen. The battle is not yours. Let's be a blessing to the bishop and don't be intimidated by an amount. OK, you don't have to be into if you got five dollars, give the man a guy five dollars. Don't be into give something. Put a seed. We we teach here on um, Bishop that you put a seed on what God gives you, the word that he gives you. You put a seed on that because I want that word to flourish in me. Man. I want that word to flourish in me. So I'm going to put a seed on that word. So mm. if the man of God blessed you this morning, send him a seed. And just tell him the word that you were blessed with this morning. Thank That's you. encouragement to the man of God. Let's thank cover him right now. Father, we thank you for Archbishop Ronald Hopkins. We thank you, God, for his words today. We thank you for his sacrifice for rising early to be a blessing to your people. God, we say cover him in the name of Jesus from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. God, we say thank you for keeping Bishop Ronald Hopkins alive and well. We thank you for satisfying the man of God with long life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we speak life come on speak life over the man of God in the name of Jesus he shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord we declare and decree that Bishop Ronald Hopkins will live a long, healthy life. We come against any assignment of the enemy to deter him, to get him off track, to distract him. We thank God that the word of God will continue to flourish out of his mouth. In the name of, we thank you for new revelation as he studies the word of God in this time of isolation. We thank you for new word. Hallelujah. We thank you for fresh word. Hallelujah. We thank you for prophetic words. We thank you, God, for rhema words. God, we thank you for increase in the name of Jesus. We thank you for expansion for the bishop. Hallelujah. And we cover him. Somebody say, we cover bishop with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We cover him with the blood and no plague shall come not his dwelling by the power of the name of Jesus. He is covered. And we give him the glory. We give God the glory. We give God all the praise and the honor. Somebody open up your mouth and give him a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. Let's give him a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory for all of the things that he's done. Hallelujah. God be the glory. We've had so many of our friends and, and loved ones and people we've grown up with and in ministry together with that have passed away. But we want to say to you publicly, Bishop Ronald Hopkins, we love you. We thank God that you are still here. We celebrate your life. Didn't you? He told us this morning, he said to celebrate and we celebrate your presence on this earth. You, Amen. Some of the people that passed away, we didn't get a chance to tell them how much right, that we right, loved them. We right. didn't get a chance to tell them that. Right. And I never, I told him this before, but I, when I was going through my divorce, when I was going through the, um, the, the cancer bout, Bishop Hopkins, ah, preached a word to me that got me through, that helped me. It sometimes is just one word that gets you through. And it was the word that he spoke when, um, she said, all of the things that was happening to Job, everything's kept on coming. And it was like, I, I got this, I got cancer once and I got cancer twice. Then my divorce happened and somebody else died and this happened. And he said, remember all of the things that happened to Joseph. What did he do? He fell on his knees and he worshiped. Thank oh you. my goodness. Oh my Thank goodness. That was a word that got me through Bishop. Yes. Through all of yes. the hell, through all of the hurt. What was I was empowered to get on my knees and worship in the midst of my trial. And I will never forget that because those That's were true. hard times. That's and so true. I thank God for you. That's I thank God for your God. life. This man of God is a humble man of God. He's been serving all of his life. I never forget that he would come from off of the um the drums and and be the and be the trustee and then after being a trustee then be the adjutant. Okay, so he was flowing in service. 
since I've met him. So we thank God for his thank longevity you. in serving the people of God. And now he's serving as leader. We thank God for you. We speak blessings upon you. And we say thank you so very much. Let's wave to the bishop and say thank you, bishop. You. We love you. Love you too. We love you. Thanks so much for coming. Bless you. Thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, everybody, for being with us today. If you have enjoyed yourself, hallelujah, you can also be a blessing to the ministry as well. This is the day that God has made. We are rejoicing. We're so glad that what God is doing here today. And we believe that God is definitely, he is speaking to his people. Amen. He's speaking to his people. If you enjoy this ministry, why not partner with us? Amen. You can partner with us by going to Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries website at www.pegm.org. If you want to partner, it's only $20 a month. We would love for you to partner with us. And what you are doing is helping us reach more people globally. Amen. Helping us proclaim that prayer is powerful. Amen. We are here to revolutionize this world through the power of prayer and the spoken word. And we're, going, we're adding praise to it as well. Amen. In this season, we need to keep our mouths open with praise and prayer. Amen. And worship as well. Well, if you want to sow a seed into Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, you can reach out to us at PE Global in the name of Jesus. And we would thank you and we appreciate your seed. We appreciate your support. So many people, um, they have so many prayer calls now. So many people have different, um, they're going live on a daily basis. So those of you that are here with me this morning, I want you to, I want to say to you, thank you for being here. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming to our service. Amen. I hope and pray that the ushers did you well as you came into the services. I, I, I've been trying to teach them well. Well, you greet it properly. Bishop told me yesterday we had a, um, I asked him to come by the service on yesterday so we can make sure everything went well. We just wanted to prepare the services. He said that there was no food in the green room. You know, he was in the green room before he came up to the service. Bishop said, you need to have some food in the green room. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so the ushers, I need you to work on that hospitality. I need you to work on getting some refreshments for the bishop the next time he comes back to the service. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because we know that we are a ministry of hospitality. That's right, Deborah. We are a ministry of hospitality. I don't understand. I told you to get Bishop his tea and his orange juice and you didn't bring it up. God, help the people today. huh? Help the people today. We bless God for all of you. We love you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Again, let's keep praying for the people. There are people dying every single day. Amen. In the midst of this, we want to definitely pray for others. We want to pray for others. We want to pray for them. We want to know. We want them to know that they're not forgotten about in this time. We want them to know that they're not forgotten about. Let's reach out to those that have lost loved ones. Let's share some love. Let's share some praise. Let's share some hugs, some air hugs. I've been getting a lot of air hugs across the mouths. This is so needed in this time. This is so needed. We need to be people of prayer at all times. Amen. Because what? Everybody everywhere needs prayer. So we need to pray without ceasing. Bishop told us, he said, he told us that men ought to always pray. Didn't he say it? So I'm reminding you, no matter what your circumstances is, you ought to the name of Jesus. And I just want you to know the strength of the Lord be yours today. May the strength of the Lord be yours today. And remember how you're going to get through this. Remember how you're going to get through this. You're going to praise God. You're going to praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Pastor William said that his wife is on for the first time this month. Woo! Thank you. That's right. Thank you for reminding me all of our first time visitors. Come on. Let me know who you are. We're going to celebrate you. Woo! Welcome, first time visitors. This is how we welcome you at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. Bishop, don't laugh at me. This is how we welcome you here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. We welcome you. Any other first time visitors? Bishop is waving his handkerchief. Thank you, Bishop. <laughs> yes, we celebrate you. Um, we celebrate you, our sister. Our sister Williams, we celebrate you. Any first time Okay, Stephanie wanted to know how we bless the bishop. Let me go back to, let me go back to that, that banner. 
And so we can bless the man of God. Amen. Amen. That is his information. Somebody wanted to bless you, Bishop. We thank God for that. Thank you, Stephanie, for wanting to be a blessing to the Bishop. Amen. 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 God bless you, Tykeisha, for being here. God bless you for celebrating with us. Thank you for coming. Leon Brown, I don't know if you're still here or not, but thank you for being a part of this. We thank you. Amen. Amen. We have it. We thank you. We thank you for being here. Um, is it deacon, minister? I don't know. Elder, deacon, Le Leon. God bless you. Um, Brown. I don't know what your title is, but God bless you. He is an awesome, awesome musician. He is an anointed. What I do know about this man of God, D. Leon Brown. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Uh -huh, I'm talking about you. He is an anointed minstrel. When I tell you, everybody that plays an organ is not anointed. If you need a, a musician for an anointed gathering, this man right here is anointed to usher in the presence of God. He has a heart he has such a pure heart as well. I love him. I love you, Leon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Those are holy kisses. Tell your wife, I ain't trying to come for you. Those are holy kisses. Amen. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's my family, y'all. Um, Taikisha is my family. We grew up in Pilgrim together. Um, Tisa Joyner, my family, is in the house. Thank you so much. PC Elliott, my family, grew up in Pilgrim together. Thank you for being here. Petra Bell, family, grew up in Pilgrim together. Deborah Belton, family, grew up in Pilgrim together. We, they're in the house, Bishop. They're here. God bless you. I think, I don't know. I think this is past um, First Lady Cheryl Harrison. I think this is her first time being here. So I want to celebrate you. God bless you for being here. Thank you, first time visitors. We thank you for being here. We thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And thank you for that word, Bishop, who blessed us so good today. Tomorrow we will be on this same... Yes, we will be here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries page where we'll be, we're doing a book study. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but we're doing the book stu study called The Bait of Satan Bishop. If you haven't heard it, this is a powerful book about being free, living free from the spirit of offense. This is a powerful book. We are doing a book study. We are on chapter. We're going to be doing chapter four. So those of you that would like to join us, you can join us. It's not too late. You can join us. We're on chapter four. And Dr. Michelle Johnson, is going to be our facilitator. How, what, 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 what? Come on, Bishop. Bishop, Bishop got the book. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop got the book. He yeah. knows about it. And isn't this a powerful book, Bishop? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Powerful book. Amen. Thank God. Bishop has it. He has it as well. We are doing this book study and we believe God is going to bless us because this is the time we don't have time to be living in offense. Remember that praise pays off. Amen. Praise is our weapon. Remember the battle is not yours, but it's God's. Remember God will hear and he will help. Remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. So many powerful words that the bishop gave us this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. He gave us so many powerful words of encouragement. So remember, let's be a blessing to the bishop and let's remember to keep praise on our mouth. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. right here. If you have not liked our page, can you do me a favor? Like us. Do you like me? You like us? Like our page. You'll hear what we're saying, what we're doing. I'm about to have a wonderful workshop for all of the ladies, all of you intercessors, all of you that have a prayer shawl that don't know what to do with it. You've had the prayer show in your um in, in your house forever. You don't know what to do with it. You only bring it out when you're trying to look deep. Huh? I, I ain't talking. I'm stepping on somebody's toes, right? You only bring it out when you go to prayer conferences, right? Where is the shutting? That's the only time you bring it out. Go ahead. I know I'm stepping on your toes. This is the time that you invest in learning how to use this spiritual garment. OK, the prayer show is anointed garment that can benefit you if you would use it. I wrapped myself up in this garment when I was going through um, cancer. I wrapped myself up in that garment. There is miracles in that prayer show. Yes. There's peace in that prayer shawl. I'm telling you, go to www.arlenemitchell.com and sign up. Get more information about it so you can sign up. It's going to be a workshop, only two hours on Saturday 18th, April the 18th. And I believe that you will be blessed by being a part of this. Amen. I believe that you'll be a blessed. Again, it is the significance, unveiling the significance of the prayer shawl. I believe that everybody that will be a part of this will learn more about this prayer shawl. 
Okay. Bishop is still hanging out with me. Most people's like, okay, Bob, go on. But thank you for hanging out, Bishop. He's still in the back listening to me. I appreciate your support, Bishop. I appreciate you. You could have hung up, but he's still hanging on, listening to me rattle on. But I thank you, everybody. I thank you, everybody. You waving. You waving. Okay. You hanging out. You hanging out, Bishop. You leaving. You leaving. He's going. He's going. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. So everybody, remember the prayer shawl. The prayer shawl will be April. The, go to www.arlenemitchell.com. Amen. So for more information, you can visit www.arlenemitchell.com to get more information about this workshop for the prayer shawl. Anybody have a prayer shawl? You have a prayer shawl, but don't know what to do with it. You need to join this. You need to join this workshop. Amen. If you have a prayer shawl, you don't know what to do with it, but you know, it's a powerful garment. It's a spiritual garment that you need to use. You can also order a prayer shawl on my website. If you go to www.arlimitchell.com, go to products, click on that. It's going to take you to my products website and you can order one there. Amen. Those of you that are dealing with sicknesses, those of you that have ailments in your body, purchasing a prayer shawl, using this prayer shawl is definitely needed during this time. Okay, this is definitely needed. Again, go to www.arlimitchell.com. This is Arlie Mitchell Ministries sponsoring it. This is not prayer and empowerment global ministries. This is a separate ministry. This is my coaching ministry, which is my coaching business. Amen. And so that's why there is a fee for this involvement. Those of you that don't know, I'm aware I am a professional prayer coach, amen, certified. And I'm here to give you information on how you can expand your relationship with God and go deeper and have an understanding of the prayer show. Amen. Visit www.arlimitchell.com for more information. And again, if you need a shawl, you can purchase your shawl on the website. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I know some of your churches are now online. You have other people, other friends that you support that's now online at the same time. But thank you for being here, Aprils. Thank you. I'm not going to start. It's going to start naming names, but I, I'm going to get in trouble if I do that. But I'm going to say thank you to all of our impact partners. You know who you are. You support us on a monthly basis. I want to say thank you for supporting us every, every month. There is a deposit coming into our into our midst, and we say thank you, thank you so much for for your support. We have some really wonderful things coming up up the um in the ones to come. I'm about to celebrate one year of being a pastor. One year, my anniversary is coming up. Woo! Let me get my let me get my cheerleaders out for myself. Woo! Oh yes, yes, I celebrate a year being a pastor on April the 27th. Could you believe that? So we're going to be having that coming up soon. So we're going to be celebrating one year of being a pastor of Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. I've been in ministry for over almost 30 years now. Uh, been serving as a, as a young kid. I served just like Bishop Hopkins. I served in so many capacities growing up. So I've been in ministry a very long time. And I'm grateful that God has um, allowed me to be pastor over Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. And I'm honored to have, that he's appointed me to be a pastor at this time. So if you are being blessed by this ministry, why not partner with us? Be a part. Remember, we'll be here tomorrow at 6 p.m. Again, you have three ways of connecting with us. We can connect with us on Monday nights. You can connect with us on Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m. And you can connect with us on Thursdays at 6 p.m. And just in case you didn't know, our conference line number is 717-281-4980. Again, we're just on announcements now, but we thank you for joining us. And I just want you to know that God is with you and I'm going to sing us out. Amen. All of you that know this song, you can join in. Altos, Sopranos, get in your position. This is going to be our... Um, I would just last night we was on the call. They, they were saying, no, was it Monday? They were saying, Pastor, you're not going to sing. You're not going to sing. So we're going to say, God is so good all the time. He's so good. God so good all the time to me. Everybody.
everybody that knows the song, come on and sing it along with me. God is so good all the time. He's so good. God so good all the time to me. Even in the midst of what's going on in our world today, I need you to sing this song. God is so good all the time. He's so good. God so good all the time to me oh god is so good all the time he's so good god so good all the time to me God's so very good to me. God is so good all the time. He's so good. God so good all the time to me. I'm gonna take it higher. God is so song of the Lord. God, you're good. Hallelujah. God, you're good. God, you're good. I'm lifting a praise. God, you're good. God, you're good. God, you're good. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. God, you're good. Hallelujah. God, you're good. Lord, you're worthy. God, you're good. I bless your name. God, you're good. Lord, you're good. Hallelujah. Lord, you're good. 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 Been so good to me. Hallelujah. Been so good to me. Been so good to me. Lord, you're good. Come on, everybody. Lord, you're good. Let's lift up a song of the Lord. Lord, you're good. Lord, you're good. Been good to me. Been good to me. You saved my life. You set me free. Been good to me. You healed my mind. Been good to me. You healed my mind. You've been good to me. God's been good. My healer. My healer. My provider. You've been good. You've been good. You've been good. God, you're great. God, you're great. My great God. My great God. My great God. God, you're good. Oh, Shakaya Masia. God, you're good. Been good to me. Been good to me. Been good to me. God, you're good. 
God, you're good. Been good to me. 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 Hallelujah. Been good to me. Command and shakanda ban soko. Been good to me. Command the video shataya. Been good to me. Yes, Lord Jesus. Been good to me. Hallelujah. Been good to me. I praise your name. Been good to me. Hallelujah. Been so good. Been good to me, so good. Been good to me, hallelujah. Been good to me, glory to God in the highest. We give God glory, we give God honor, and we give God praise. God has been good, and he's worthy of our praise. Amen. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Know that I love you. Hallelujah. I love you. I'm praying for every one of you. Remember, we're here for you. Hallelujah. We are here for you. We love you. We're blessing God for you. Will you do me a favor? Will you share this broadcast? If this was a blessing to you, please share it. Share it in groups that you're in. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. We are here to make praise and prayer big. Amen. We're here to magnify the Lord and we want to encourage others every single day that they're not in this dilemma, this crisis by themselves. Amen. I want you to pray for the Gillette family. Amen, which is a part of my family. We lost another, I lost a brother-in-law. My niece and nephew lost a father. So I want you to pray for them, amen, throughout the day. I want you to lift up the Gillette family, amen. Lift up the Gillette family. Um, and for all other families that has lost loved ones during this time, let's not be selfish and only think about ourselves, but let's make a conscious effort to make calls and, and texts and, and, and actually call people, actually pick up the phone and call them and hear their voice and hear that they're doing better and they're doing well. Amen. I love you too, Evelyn. Thank you so very much, everyone, for coming on, loving me and encouraging me. And your support, your encouraging words do mean a lot. They really do. It means a lot. Thank you for being here, Simone. Thank you so much. Lady D, thank you for being here. I appreciate you, Flo, Flo, Evelyn, Minister Tanya Owens. Thank you so much. Thank you for being Thank you for being here, Colette, Evelyn, Deborah, Latasha. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Amelia, for always showing up. Thank you, Jonathan Marshall. Thank you, Evangelist Tracy Gilmore. Thank you for being here. Prophetess Anna, thank you for being here. Kevin, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Taikisha, if you're still here, I just want you to know my sister, I love you. My, I just smiled when I saw you. You just really just did something to my heart to see your presence here. Verna, it's always good to have you here. Thank you, Laconia. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Allison was on the line. I'm not sure if she's still here, but thank you so much for being here. My my bestie, my bestie for I don't I'm not gonna tell you how many years, so we don't you don't know how. But anyway, that's my bestie for a long, long, long time. PC, my master coach right there, PC Elliot, my warrior, my Shiro. Amen. We thank God for her. And we thank God for all of you. I'm just going down the list of the names of people who supported us today. And I just want you to know Deborah Belton. I'm not sure if I've said your name to Kia. I saw her earlier. Valerie Wilson, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I'm just giving shout outs at the end of service. Amen. Giving shout outs to say it's so good to see you. I'm just waving. It's so good to see you. Thank you for stopping by the service. Thank you for stopping by the service. Amen. We don't have any refreshments today, but come back next week. We'll work on having some refreshments to you, huh? We'll work on having refreshments, Tisa. We'll work on having some refreshments next time you come. Amen. We'll work on that. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> amen and amen. I love you, everybody. Have a blessed day. Meet you on the line tomorrow at 6 p.m. Be here. You'll be blessed. God bless.